Tonight's at 7.30. Hello. I guess you know who I am. If you don't, my name is in the title. Thank you, thank you, thank you, but that's enough. We only have a half hour. When they asked me to do the show, I was a little hesitant. I said, what if the show was no good? They said, that's never stopped you before. I said, you're right. I'll be there. Then I said, wait. How much am I getting paid? They said, we'll pay you whatever you want. I said, that's ridiculous. I want the same money Tom Selleck is getting. They said, George, Tom Selleck jumps out of planes, dodges cars, gets shot at. You don't do anything dangerous. I says, I don't, Tom. At my age, getting up in the morning is dangerous. Anyway, we agreed on everything. And from now on, I'll be your host. Which means I'll just come out here every week and tell you a little about the show. And who's going to be in it. Every week, it'll be someone different. Except for me. I stay the same. I don't know whether that's good or bad, but that's the way it is. Now, tonight's comedy is called The Dynamite Girl. It stars Catherine O'Hara and Tim Matheson. And it starts right here. Suppose you tell us what you're doing now. I thought I explained that. Tell us again. I'm presently employed by Atlantic International Airlines as a first officer. I've been a captain for four years. Before that, I was a second officer at Mid-Continent. But most of my friends know me from Denver Commercial Flight Systems, where I taught multi-engine jets. Thank you. If you'll wait for us here, we have to confer privately. As long as I'm out of here by 1,300 hours. Still delusional. Yesterday she thought she ran a teen runaway hotline. Last week she was a welder on the Alaskan pipeline. What was she before that? Landscape architect, librarian, hypnotist, and the first woman wide receiver in the NFL. She's absolutely suggestible with a photographic memory. There's something charming about her. I think she has a chance as an outpatient. Let's talk to the family. Got a verdict? Crazy as it said, Bud, right? She's certainly not competent to handle her family business. Well, we feel that Sally would be better off if she wasn't always having to prove she's not loony tunes. Psychiatrists don't normally use the term loony tunes. Maybe you've heard the medical term. Bat cell. Oh, indeed. Yeah, the, the poor girl would feel so much happier if she didn't have to always worry about whether she was in or out, here or there, normal or absolutely wacky. What exactly would you like us to do? Lock her up and throw away the key. It's not that easy. She can't be permanently institutionalized until she's certified by the State Board of Examiners. After a formal hearing. For some incomprehensible reason, our departed parents named Sally the principal beneficiary of a sizable estate. Mommy and Daddy didn't like the rest of us much. Once the business affairs were in our hands, we could make a sizable endowment to the Glen Pine Sanitarium for research. Eh, Dr. Engel? Oh, that would be welcome, certainly. Oh, let's do something nice for the poor kid. Give her a caring environment. Have you got anything small? Not too damp, with no windows. Excuse me, doctor. Yes? Ready for lunch? Not yet. Aren't you gonna eat these? No. Well, I hate to see them go to waste. Can I have one? Yes. 
I have to be someplace else. Will you lock up after me, please? Yes, doctor. Good. We'll eat when you get the fire going. Before lunch, I'd like to say a few words. When you get the urge for a delicious snack, have a Kit Kat. Light crispy wafers with chocolatey cream smothered in rich milk chocolate. Kit Kat's irresistible. The next train, it'll be along sometime. So when you get the urge for a delicious snack, have a Kit Kat. change my entire system. You, uh, you work here, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it depends on your amp, your preamp, your speaker setup. What tank are you running now? Uh, it's just a 10-watt receiver with 5-inch bookshelf speakers. Oh, you want to get into some of this high-end stuff. Here, be with this. That's it, Lieutenant. We got a bomb down there in the refrigerator in the basement. I hate bombs. Pure extortion. They claim they got enough explosives to bring down this whole building. What about the bomb squad, the experts? They're on the way. The lead guy's a CIA or FBI or something, codenamed Juliet. So make sure whoever it is, get him back here pronto. Okay. I'll evacuate the orphanage in the hospital. Right. And I'll sit tight here and secure this entrance. Cash out, ring up your order. Thanks again. Hey! Hey, you! All right, come on, everybody. Clear the building. Let's go. Right, I'm the manager. Out of the no, I can't leave. Well, no, what about value day? You're I, I gotta be here. <laughs> Juliet? Yeah. Down here. Okay. Boy, am I glad you're here. I haven't seen you before, have I? No. You're not a regular on the bomb squad, are you? No. Special assignment. I don't know how much time we got left. The bomb threat came in over the phone. They usually do. Yeah. Have you heard of the Kill for Peace movement? Oh, yeah. In Beirut, I did some work with the UN peacekeeping forces. And in Belfast, with the Royal Ulster Constabulary. Nasty bit of work, that. It's right down here to the right. You got any idea what we're up against? Could be a Kaprisky detonator with a timer and a trembler switch on a two-second delay. I never even heard of that. Oh, but you're not the expert. Are you? No. Better move carefully from here. Hold it! Hold it! Hold this, wise guy! If I'm not through here in five seconds, the rest of your law enforcement career will be spent putting little red cones on the freeway. I'm Juliet. Yeah, the, the, uh, 
uh, yellow one? Yeah. Okay, now when I say go, I want you to pull that. Uh, the long one? Yeah, don't be shy. You only get one yank. Just pray to God no one tries to be a hero and disarm that thing. Down here. What? The saints be praised. Let me see that thing. Boy, it's a good thing Juliet showed up when she did. Thank you. No, no, not you, mister. I'm talking about Juliet, the bomb expert. You jackass. I'm the expert. I'm Juliet. Take care. Well, yeah, then who did this, huh? Who said pull the long yellow wire? She said what? She said pull the long yellow wire. Oh, my God. I would have gone the other way. And? <laughs> Just a little bomb squad joke. <laughs> You'd have to be crazy to try to disarm this thing. Crazy, huh? She saved all of our lives. Now, where is she? And who is she? There's no place to reduce the risk of some kinds of cancer. So I made some changes. Like eating all brand, the natural high fiber cereal from Kellogg's. You know, I'm glad I call that number. Kellogg's All Brand. For more facts, call the National Cancer Institute. Toll free. When you're in a death. This one's gonna be a war. The defending Super Bowl champion 49ers beat the 1984 world champion Raiders. Sunday on CBS Sports. Hey! I'm sorry, monsieur. These are not fit to sell. J Julia? Yes? It's Lieutenant Wellman, Glen City PD. You disappeared before I had a chance to say thank you. I did. I'm sorry. Why? Well, can't you say something? No. Well, I can't figure you out. Oh, nobody can. Sometimes I can't figure myself out. What are you, some kind of mystery woman? I could be. This is great. Mystery and, the, and, and a sexy woman and intrigue. It's like some James Bond adventure. Most perceptive. Lieutenant Wellman is today. Why don't you and I go back to your place and we'll discuss it over a nice dry martini. Shaken, not stirred. This is nice. You sleep in here? No, I, I sleep in there, and uh, I, I watch TV in here. And I uh, cook over there, and I, uh, I eat over there. I live here. I put my laundry in here. You know, we really shouldn't be here. Uh, we gotta go downtown to my office. Now, what do you see? the music. Okay. into something more comfortable, darling. Darling? Uh, wait, wait just a second here. I'll die if I have to wait. Oh, Lord. Look, look I, I don't hardly know anything about you. I, I don't even know your name. All I know is that you saved my life, and, and for that I'm, I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't want to know too much about me. Why not just enjoy the moment? The precious time we have together. Why don't we have some wine first? Uh, wine, wine. I know I have some wine here somewhere. Aha, here it is, yeah. Well, it's not much, but it is imported and goes with everything. Blue Nun. It's just about far enough, thank you. Excuse me, I have to go pray. Hello? <laughs> You say pray? <laughs> 
Hello? Hello? Can I come in? Can we talk about this? Excuse me. What happened to the moment? Can we pray together? Finished praying. I'd like to take a shower, please. Yo, ho it's morning. I know that. I would like to just finish the last decade of the rosary, please. bedroom right and she believes that she's a nun yeah I, i've been reading her history here and uh, she just seems eminently suggestible i mean she, she's not a hopeless case you no, know i agree i think with a supportive environment she could have a chance on the outside y y but you're going to certify her and commit her no not me the state board is reviewing her case this afternoon well, what about her family well they're doing everything they can to keep her out to keep her in how can they do that You'd have to meet them to understand. I asked Engel not to call them. I told you we should put her in the Swiss clinic, the one in the cave. I think we should consider electric shock therapy. Sally is not going any place until she's certified by the state examiners. Well, no problem then. All they have to know is she almost blew up the whole town before she turned into Mother Teresa. <laughs> I'll see if she's ready. Can I come in? It's, uh, Father Ambrose. There's no need to be silly, Lieutenant. I would like to go visit the Mother Superior now, please. Oh, them. That's your family, Sally, and, uh, Dr. Wyman. And I'm Jake. I know. And I'm Sally. Can I stay here with you? Sally. No, I, I'm sorry, but... There's nothing I can do. You have to act normal now. I can do that. Oh, hello, Uncle Esther. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. I'm ready to go now. Now, now, don't touch her. Uh, she'll be going quietly. Sally. No, don't. Don't be sorry, Jake. You only did what you had to do. I don't want to leave without thanking you first. You want to thank me for what? Yesterday. It was the most fun and excitement I've had in years. I met people. People cared about me. I was important for a change. I like being with you, Jake. Sally, we have to go. Okay, I'm going. Okay, come on, everybody. Back to the snake pit. Right. Doctor, is there any point in my testifying on her behalf, my being there as a character witness? You can come if you want to, Jake, but this is just a formality. She's going away. For good? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, may I help you, sir? Hey, look at you! I'm a patient! Sally. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm only interested in what's best for my niece. If that means locking her up for the rest of her life, then so be it. There's nothing to be afraid of, Sally. Just go in there and say whatever comes into your head. Cocoa bananas. Oh, wait a minute, Sally. Just a little hug for good luck. Here's my card. Have him call me for backup. What? Great work on the undercover hospital investigation. Give him hell. Well, there's no 
point in me hanging around here. I got a lot of work to do downtown. I'd love to stick around for the commitment, but adios. Nobody, absolutely nobody could know. This is the longest, deepest undercover investigation into care for the mentally ill ever undertaken by the major media. And you work closely with the police? Without question. You can check for yourself if you like. Call him. Well, anyone could have a card printed. You realize you have a history of delusional psychosis involving the assumption of false identities? Well, of course I do. How else could I get first-hand experience inside these walls? Go ahead, call him. Totally fabricated, I assure you. Go ahead, make the call. Go ahead. Make the call. Naturally, your decision will be very carefully studied by both the media and the governor's office. It's ringing. Detective Division, Lieutenant Wellman speaking. Yes. Yes, I understand. That's right. She is working for us. Undercover. I am her case officer. Well, it's hush-hush even around here in the department, sir. Fabulous work. Well, I... I can't be sure, but... Uh... Oh, network television and uh, all the national press, at least. Oh, including the state medical examiner's board. <laughs> She's got the power to blow the lid off the entire mental health care establishment. Oh, including the so-called Sanity Hearings Commission. Excuse me, we are the Sanity Hearing Commission. Oh, you are? I didn't know that. Well, I'm glad I could be of some help. Uh, thank you, sir. What was that all about? Oh, just a little craziness. You all heard the man. I think you're a very courageous and daring woman. Yes. I think we can adjourn these proceedings. Thank you for all your care and attention. I'm glad your diagnosis was the same as the hearing commissioner's. We wouldn't have it any other way. Just call me harmless and competent. And as for all the charges, see my family. Shall we? Uncle Lester, pay the man. Surely you can do something for an old lodge brother, eh, Ingle? Please. You know, this is fun being normal. This is my car here. Oh, you have your own car. You know, more than anything, I miss driving, Jake. I haven't driven a car in ages. Do you think I could drive it? Well, you drive you your know, car. actually, no, it's the city's car, and I, I, I don't know if your license is still good anymore. Well, that's great. Well, all right. Uh, just inside the grounds, okay? I mean, once you're outside the gates, I'll drive. Agreed? Agreed. 4 Adam 14 at 2-11 in progress, Foothill at 7, code 1, suspect armed and dangerous. Dispatch, this is 4 Adam 14, we got it, we're rolling. Oh, no, 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 no. Dispatch, 4 Adam 14, ET in the scene in 7 minutes, patch me into TAC 2, I want to talk to the units in the field, then give me the watch commander, 4 Adam 14 out. You might want to buckle up. Well, there it is. You don't have to be crazy to be in love, but I guess it helps. Nice couple of kids. I'm sure they'll be very happy. At least you won't be bored. That's the kind of a girl I'd like to take home and meet my mother and father. Until next week, thanks for being with us. Good night. It's the hot sale in heating. Free gas for a month. That's right. Buy a Bryant high-efficiency gas furnace, including our... Red-hot glamour of Marilyn Monroe. Now, Max Factor's passion for red comes roaring back in fashion with the great glamorous reds. Rich, bold, non-stop colors to light up the season's most dazzling looks. Go ahead. Go red. With Max Factor, the glamour goes on. Thanks, Max. Thursday, Magnum gets busted. I'm going to do a little manual labor and watch a lot of TV. To protect a teenage runaway from murder. Then Simon and Simon reunite to fight charges of murder and espionage. What's the plan? I'll think of something. And will a trip to New York boost hometown spirits or tear the gang apart? Not bad for your first idea. Thursday.
It's Jackie Gleason and Art Carney as Prohibition's finest booze busters. I'm Izzy. And I'm Mo. Izzy and Mo, September 23rd. <laughs> Now stay tuned and meet the man who can even things out against all odds. When you're in a desperate situation, there's no one quite like The Equalizer, premiering next. Between wakefulness and sleep, in the shadowland beyond science and psychology lies a special province. Discover that life still holds certain haunting surprises. Friday, September 27th, travel as far from home as you'll ever be to the Twilight Zone. Saturday, September 29th, take off on a typical American vacation. Chevy Chase and John Candy in the original National Lampoon's Vacation. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. The Reverend Benjamin Weir will hold a news conference here in Washington tomorrow to talk about his 16 months as a hostage in Lebanon. Weir was released over the weekend under circumstances still not fully known. Six other Americans are still being held. Britain has called a truce in the tit-for-tat expulsion of diplomats, businessmen, and journalists with the Soviet Union. The expulsions began last week after Britain called a number of Soviet spies and told them to pack up. Now this. Wuzzles, wuzzles everywhere. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Wuzzles playwear. Something to sing about from Dolby. The number of deaths is, is CBS. Hi everybody, I'm Joel Hamilton and this is your new regional Lincoln Mercury Shopping Center. We're in Miami, Florida on I-95 at the 81st Street exit and believe it or not, this is a used car. Yes, our used cars look and run like showroom new. This used Lincoln Town Car... These are our friends who have come to have a good time. To the escalator! <laughs> Just what makes that little old ant think he'll move that rubber tree plant? Anyone knows that? Be there. Eastern's theory of flight and its effect on performance. How do you?